Hey guys, this is Adam Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And today we're gonna have something really, really exciting because I just had the you know the plat push from Monday. I just had a new personal best. It was really interesting. I'm just gonna play this in the background. Uh, I'm gonna leave all of the fights go through. I'm just gonna leave myself uh, move myself a little bit to the side so we can watch the battles. So if you see going like this, it's a recording, guys. Do not worry. I'm not using cheat engine or stuff like that. I'm not using cheats. Just went with the playback speed and just put it to go faster. So obviously, because I want to... I got some feedback saying that I should play all of my fights in, you know, in full. So people can see what I did, why I did it, and like how, how my fights went, went on. So one thing that I noticed this... Uh, ever since they've done, you know, with the changes and how Arena works now. It seems to be like it's easier to place into arena or i might be mistaken myself but the way that it actually looks it's it's uh it's just uh, like it was before they introduced gold five if i remember correctly and that's what i mean by that is it's the fact that basically the points of platinum keep going up so if you want to get into plat you get at a certain you get at a certain point but it's like uh how do I say this? So, Plat normally starts at 3,200 or 500 now, whatever. But the more people get in Plat, the higher it goes. So, everybody basically keeps going higher and higher into Plat. So, for example, this week, as we saw, 3,500 was the time that we got into Plat. But the the amount that Plat was starting at was, let me see, actually, let me see after this fight stops, I don't rewind it, is, look at this. 5720 something so that's like almost <laughs> another 50 percent if not getting close to double the amount that it's like the basic so that's that's the way it does and it's it's it sort of looks to me like okay it's a it might be a good thing but at the same time it might be a bad thing the reason i'm saying this might actually be a bad thing is you can have situations like for example it happened to me before where like you're getting into plat you stay the entrance of plat you know, we are in there. You don't want to push too, too further up because the same for me. If I push too, too much up, like over top 100, top 50, lots of people attack attack me because like I'm a new, I'm a, you know, my teams aren't strong enough. Like I don't have all this, the, I don't have all the empower champs and all that. So people see me as like, you know, free fights, free wins. But uh, that tactic doesn't work anymore because if you just stay at the entrance and you're not careful, flat outgrows you. Like you're going to see me doing some, keep doing the fights, you know, I'm just taking some of the fights here are like <laughs> disgraceful i mean look at these some of these like they have no nothing no nothing to do into plat like they shouldn't be into plat but at the same time there are other ones like you see some of the top ones like for example i, I saw somebody like this that i went up against and i think i lost like i did take some bad fights i got one shot there and i straight off backed out because like you know make a mistake it's no point to stay there but if you look at the points here look at this 577, 5792. These are like the top ones. If, if I would have clicked top tiers, this would have been like maybe top 10, top 20. So the tricky thing is, again, most people, the way that, that, that they, they push into plat, this uh, the, the normal tactic is like, okay, they're pushing in the last uh, <clears throat> the last 10, 15 minutes if people, they want to place into plat. People, they want to get into the top, uh, into the top, what's it called? The top... Uh, 10, 15, you know, if people that want to get in like the, the lump, close to the number ones, they start pushing half an hour an hour before to try and get to that position. This fight is going to be a long one. This fight like took me two minutes because whenever, whenever there's a Kendra fund that keeps one shotting my Tranda, that, that takes long. But yeah, so for example, this week myself, uh, I kept trying because of the arena changes, I kept trying to farm. So because I kept trying to farm, guess what I did? I put that one man defense so other people could farm as well and try and push and, you know, you only get five you only lose five fights per week so but per day sorry so after the five fights it doesn't matter how many times i'm attacked like they get the points but i do not lose them so basically i was tanking a little bit but the entrance to platinum went higher and higher so what i had to do was surprisingly not as hard i had to push yesterday it uh no yesterday the day before plat it i spent 20 minutes or something like that to just get to the entrance of plat so just 20 minutes because they were easy fights. There are lots of people that are in gold five that normally they wouldn't be there. Or there's lots of one-man defenses in there. So 
honestly i feel like uh it's it's working fine at the moment but maybe it's not as good because goal 5 is not as competitive as it was when they introduced it i honestly uh i preferred when when they introduced goal 5 i prefer that type of goal 5 because it's sort of like for me it was like training ground for the <clears throat> For what it's called it was the training ground for platinum to say so now it's just like you know farming spree i don't know i feel like if they, they should they should keep gold five and like platinum to be like uh, a bit more dif uh, difficult and the other ones leave it the same easy farming cannot drop too much and and all of that but yeah that was that was, that was the really really interesting one and honestly i've i've uh i even forgot i mean i forgot i didn't use my usual plat defense this week you know usually i use duchess Stiffy, Warlord, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, oh, so Duchess, Stiffy, Warlord, and Hedgy. That's uh, normally Hedgy and Warlord, as I as, uh, as I've said in my previous videos, are are teams that are usually avoided by people. But it seems that now there's some other people uh, champions that are more annoying, like Warlord, uh, Hedgy. Some people have tactics already for that. There's like I, I see some standard teams using using the using the mall in there with the immunity arbiter and like you know they go ahead of me and they just you know they lock me out themselves so they won't shot me before I get a chance to go and I lose. But this week I tried I just honestly I used my midweek defense which was the Duchess, which was Mithrala, Duchess, Tormin and Wither. I mean they they seem all really annoying champions together that's for sure, and surprisingly enough that team did pretty good for me and then close to the end i changed it a little bit and i just i added my warlord to the mix so i don't know if i was like if i was just not showing up for people's in people's defenses but i wasn't attacked as uh, often as possible or maybe some people avoided me because look at this let me just put this one back again check my defense no no oh, come on oh yeah it was just that so People were not just. I mean, I did. I did get some attacks. I I, I recorded my attack lock at my attack log at the end, and I still get. I still got attacks, but I didn't get attacked as often as as I usually am. Like I said, and at the same time, I was using. I was winning more than often because I guess, be, uh, this time around having Tormin, I sort of like I had a win condition in there. You know, Tormin with Warlord can be really annoying. Warlord obviously because of the lockout and Tormin because of you know he can do damage. Having him in the same team as Mithrala and Wither, which both do increased defense, helped me a little bit more. So maybe, maybe I, I caught some people off guard as well, because like my, my tournament was built this week. I built him in a, in a new king build. Here I was just stopped and I was just looking for a second because I was quite ahead. And I think it was, let me see, was it this one that I stopped? Yeah, I was just checking. I didn't attack. Oh yeah, so this is, you, you could see my team. Mithrala, let me see, come on. Go to defense. I just, I just keep randomly scrolling through it. And then, yeah, see, I, I was just waiting because I didn't want to push too high. I was like 100. So this was my defense. Like I said, Mithrala, Duchess, Tormin, and Wither. Looks pretty annoying. But I, I honestly expect it to be attacked more. But look at that. If you look last 15 minutes, I wasn't even attacked. So it was just like, there was 8 minutes till, till uh, like, uh, plat reset and I was still not attacked. So I just waited there for a bit. I'm going to push it forward because I didn't do anything. And then I, I saw that I started getting attacked because I was too high up. So uh, people that was like in, in the top 100 started attacking me. So I was like, okay, it's time for me to change my defense. And because I was so happy with the way this one did, the only change that I did is I, I removed uh, Mithrala. I just put Warlord in uh, in there and just put the presets. Boom, and let's just keep them going. Same thing. Keep checking. Look, I was 56. I was I was in, to in the top there. I was still doing good. And then I, I resumed my I resumed my fights. Same thing as you see. Most of the teams are the same principle. Tanky teams. I have my usual standard uh, <clears throat> anti-tanky offense, which is Duchess, Warlord, Madame, and Tranda. Obviously, Warlord being the fastest, lock them out. Duchess is really good, not just because of her, uh, like I said, I, I don't know, I think I mentioned it in the previous videos, but most of you would know anyway, but Duchess is good because she brings increased attack, she brings a revive, but at the same time, she brings protection for your nuker. Because of that perfect veil, the nuker is not going to be attacked and it's, gonna, it's always going to be, uh, it's always going to be Duchess that's going to be attacked, who is like pretty, It's pre she's pretty tanky build for me. Like she's pretty uh, tanky and decently fast as well, so I'm quite happy. Plus, having Swift Parry helps more. Look at this. So as as you see, six minutes to go. I was talking at the beginning. Six minutes to go. Plat. I was just plat outgrew me. So I was 56. 
I just showed it like a few seconds earlier, I was 50, 56 in plat, then all of a sudden, boom, I was outside of plat. Plat grew so, so high, like people started, kept pushing, so many people kept pushing at the same time, that the maximum points just grew higher and higher, and basically platinum outgrew me. So in the last six minutes, I was like, you can see, I got, look at this. So I, I got lost this one, then one, two, three. It outgrew me also because I lost three fights, I guess. Look at this, minus 10, minus 10, minus 11. So the 30 points difference from being to 56 actually got me outside of plat. But this was like, what, five minutes for me to go and I had to keep pushing hard and just get, get back in there. It was, it was honestly really interesting. I mean, some of these fights were, again, because I was outside of plat, I got some really weak fights. So even though they were plus six, they were easy plus six. Easy plus six, easy plus seven. They're pretty fast fights. As you look, boom, boom. Knock them out, my Tranda nukes, and it's gonna be, boom, eight second fights. These eight second fights can just blow uh, blow me pretty high up into the, into the plat. Again, I kept looking for the easiest ones, obviously, because that's the best way. Take all the easy ones that you can see, and then, then continue with the next one. See, then I reset, boom. That one looked easy. Again, keep, I think this one I lost. Oh no, I think this one took a little bit, okay. Yeah, I think this was one of the ones that I lost because I didn't calculate, uh, I didn't think correctly because of the of the Kandrophon. I always have, like I mentioned, my Tronda always has a problem when there's a Kandrophon. But I think, yeah, I think I came back to, back on track with this one because obviously I got a lucky weak hit as well. And this was, this was really fun, guys. I kept slowing, I kept slowing down the candy so I can get back to my Madame to do this. And then my Tronda, I got weak hit by the... Lissandra, boom, one shot. So that was a pretty fun comeback. The pretty fun comeback that I didn't really expect. Now I started looking again, trying to search for obviously the easiest fights. Usually that's what happens in the last five minutes. It seems like all the defenses look insane. So trying to get the easiest fights is not as uh, it's not as easy as you would expect sometimes. But I still get 16 second fights, pretty good, pretty good. I was still getting attacked and then towards the end, fun enough, when I got towards the end, I started getting more uh, more wins in the in the defense. So usually I notice that the way that I I kind of like uh, focus it, it looks like in the last minutes, my my habit is to just focus tanky ones that don't have like craziness like uh, edgy warlords together or, or stuff like that. So if stuff like this happened to me like before and I was like flat would outgrow me or I would be kicked outside of flat, I would normally panic. So, oh, that was that the win? I think I think I started getting wins as well. So normally I would panic, but this this is what I mean when I mentioned in my previous videos, when I mentioned about the experience. The more you fight, the more you, the more you get used to to the way plat actually works. Like the last 15 minutes and the plat reset works, and you know not to panic and not to stress out because you can still you can still place. You know you might not get high the highest positions because you don't have the craziest defense ever, but you can still place. You always need to just. Get more experience with the teams you're fighting. Know what teams to to attack. Know what teams you bring to attack them, and try to keep changing and keep testing your defenses and see which one does better for you. For me, for example, I told you I had a certain defense before for early entries of plat. Hedge warlord works always. Hedge War warlord always works for me. Then when, now that I'm trying to push harder, I'm trying to switch it up, and that's when I got my Mistrala and my Wither and my other tanky annoying champions in there, and it seems like they were decent. Okay, this was, I think this was a pretty fast one again, like 20, 25, 30 second team. Yeah, I just needed my Tronda to go A3 and drop down. Yeah, boom, 28 seconds, and look, 34 seconds to go, and my usual luck, guys, as always, the three second, the three seconds that I lost at the end, like 21 seconds, you saw 21 seconds of the timer, my usual freaking luck. 21 seconds and I just do it a little bit too late because of the swift parry on the on the rotos. Look at that. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Boom. Just that split second, guys. Always split second and missed it. This could have been a nice win. Okay, let me just uh, put it uh, the speed normal again. So you can see now. Okay, this was obviously the, the plat reset finished when that happens. Illusion, sorry my friend. <laughs> but I guess it didn't count for, for the plat finish. And let's see, let's see what I got this week, guys. Let me move myself here, collect the chest. And boom, number 28, new personal best, guys. I actually got the top 50, top 40. 
top 30. 28. This is my best finish yet. My best finish before was 67. I actually got 28. I was really, really excited. Like this is this is insane. I still have no avatar, but honestly, at this point, I don't even care about the platinum avatar anymore because I keep wanting it. I keep don't I, I don't get it, and it's like you know, it's it's a lost stream. I don't care. Let me see if I have the yeah. Okay, now let me show because I, I I forgot to record my defense in the previous one. Show my defenses. So I actually got at the end. I, I got wins and losses, which which actually helped me. So I got like two wins and two losses. Then I got a few losses when I was like pushed outside, but I still and then I still did good. So I didn't get too many attacks. If you count them, like what was it? one, two, three, four? Let me see. Let me go down again. So if I look at the defenses, so I got attacks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fights just before plat reset, and I, I won what two out of them. I'm happy because the ones at the end counted. Was like okay, I won one, I lost one, so it sort of like balanced themselves out. So mostly my offense counted, and compared to the previous week, I think I only had one last uh, lost fight, and that one even happened in the last half an hour, not in the last 15 minutes. See, it was that one that was 70 minutes ago. Plat had already reset. Everything else was successful, so I'm getting better at choosing my fights. Sometimes I, cho I choose the wrong fights and that costs me a lot. But this time because I cho chose the right one, I was good and I got a nice, a nice, amazing plat, plat uh, finish, guys. But I'm really excited. I hope you're happy for me as well. I was, I was, I went, I went crazy when I saw that I was 28. Because <laughs> obviously, you know, it's it's a new personal achievement for me and especially for my account because. I've shown my account a lot um, in my videos and when I'm live on stream. And you see, guys, I don't have the craziest account. I don't have any Empower Champions. I don't have any Faction Guardians for the for the, the champions that matter. So getting that that uh, finish for me, it, it means a lot. It makes me happy. You know, it's it sort of like m makes me still want to push at the end of the day. Still want to push plat and get free rewards. Free, free shards, free gems, and stuff like that. But this will be it for the uh, this will be it for the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Goodbye.